Hi everyone, it's me, Dahlia. I am recording tonight because I really want to talk about a game that I've been playing for the last few nights called Life is Strange. It is a beautiful game. It's super artistic. The music's incredible. Um, and it's one of those, uh, I don't know what the technical term is, but you make choices and it affects the rest of the game, but it's not like in minute ways. It's like in major ways. You make a choice to call somebody back or make a choice to stand up to a bully and it'll change like the course of the entire game. It's crazy. I got the limited edition and I'm super glad that I did. The limited edition comes with a game concept art. How beautiful. The main character in the game is a female. She's 18 years old. Her name is Max. She has a best friend whom she hasn't seen in about five years. She runs into her after moving back to her hometown. Her best friend and she spend a lot of time catching up and some weird things start happening to Max before she even sees her friend. I don't think this is a spoiler because you will see it in like the game trailer. It shows you that Max can rewind time. She sees an event happen and she says, oh my god, what the fuck just happened? This cannot be happening. I have to stop it. Um, like she wakes up back in the classroom where she was originally. This happens all at the beginning of the game. It's not really a spoiler. At this point, she is just freaked out. Like, what the hell just happened? Why am I here? All these events that were happening in this classroom before just happened. And she finds that she can change the events that happen later on. And I don't think it's like Final Destination where she saves somebody and then, well, they're going to die anyways. You know, I, I so far I don't think it's like that. You can buy this game by chapter or you can purchase it all together. It's gorgeous. It makes me want to replay it already because there's a lot of decisions that I made that I super regret making. Like, I hate that I made half of those decisions and I can't wait to replay it again just to fucking go back and redo it. Um, what else? I do have to say, Doctor Who fans. I'm a Doctor Who fan. I seriously love it a lot. Like, Star Trek and Doctor Who, I just fucking love with all my heart. I've seen every episode. I've watched Next Generation two times. I'm on the fifth season of Voyager. I watched the original series. Doctor Who, I've seen every episode from the moment that it began all the way up to present. I would love to have like a Doctor Who episode if you guys would be excited enough to share that with me. I want you to ask me who my favorite doctor is and who my favorite companion is and what my favorite episode is and which one is my favorite Christmas episode and do I have the Blu-ray Christmas pack that came out this Christmas? Yes, I do. I do. I would love to share it with you. But I need to make sure that I have enough fans of each individual thing uh, to talk about those particular things because the fan base on each of those is going to probably uh, determine what video I make next. I will eventually make them all. Find me on Instagram at 4th at 11. That's fully spelled out with uh, no spaces, underscores, and yes, it's uh, it's accurate. Find me on Twitter. That's Lachelle27LASHELLE27. -L -L -E -E -L -L -E all of my contact information is below in the description. And uh, please, I need feedback guys like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing I just hope I'm doing something that somebody somewhere wants to uh, watch while they're on their work break or while they're working I don't know it's just fun so if you guys have uh, anything positive or negative be nice with the negative shit uh, to say I'd love to hear it I also have a photo of me in my TNG costume here I know. I know. Um, anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.